What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, you've come to the right place. That's right, I'm back baby. After another two week break, I think this is like what, my third comeback of the year? And it's only April. Sometimes I take a look at my older videos and honestly I kind of get put off by the fact that so many of them involve Twitter in some way, shape, or form. But then again, why wouldn't it? It's where everything goes on, where the YouTubers beef, where the loonies post their unhinged opinions. I'm no comedian, I'll tell you that for sure. So thank God that all I really have to do on this channel is read off a tweet here or a tweet there and say, well ain't that just stupid. Let me tell you what I mean. I found this Twitter thread where some lurping commie was going off about such and so, I'll just read it out to you. There is no global unifier, no name to you not under. Even capitalism could not unify us against capitalists as proletariat. What is unifying is the horizon of each and every unique rejection of how we are forced to live. Not a totalizing machine, but global in its locality. I'll be completely honest with you, I got about half of that. The other half was just word salad to me. Now I'll be honest, I'm not the most politically literate man ever born, but if I didn't know any better, I'd say this individual probably had a stroke while making this tweet. I hope the ambulance got to her on time. Any quote unquote communism worth fighting for is one that no longer separates how we live from our political actions. Freedom can't be born through managerial, bureaucratic practices, but only through practicing freedom itself against those very bureaucratic practices. So like, I think I understand what they're saying. Like you can't truly be free as long as there's a government or similar running the show. You know, that's what I don't get about these, I guess they call themselves anarcho-communists. If there's no government or a similar body to manage a community, how is communism possible? I mean, if there's no government to ensure that everything goes smoothly in a communist society, what's stopping everyone from just not being communist? But you know what, I'm just gonna drop it. Let the political idealists handle it because clearly I'm thinking about it too much. Then you have this guy who's just as confused as I am because he says, what does this mean? How do you manage large supply chains without bureaucracy? Why would I want to manage large supply chains to manufacture medication or generally leverage comparative advantage to, to produce surplus to lower total required labor hours? That sounds boring and exploitative and something I'd have more fun blowing up. You know, I like how this person initially started off their whole commie tirade with a flowery speech. They probably felt like a revolutionary on a podium giving a speech to the masses because, you know, these people take Twitter way too seriously. But now she's kind of just awkwardly laughing off this guy who's challenging their beliefs, right? Coming up with jokes so they don't have to acknowledge that their opinions are just kind of dumb. Now, this is where thanks get good though. The guy says, this is literally how all specialization works. How would you produce medicine? And then Demon Mama pops in. She's like a bread tuber from what I understand. She makes content on like, I'm, I'm not sure, Twitch, YouTube, leftist political commentators. So obviously she's very well versed in the matter. She can clear some stuff up for us. Make a few friends with a chemistry degree. Man, why didn't I think of that? Just befriend some guys who know chemistry. Because obviously people who are proficient in the chemistry field are a dime a dozen. Buddy, the closest thing I've got to a chemist is a meth cook. I remember him because he offered me a hundred dollars for a pitcher full of my urine ones. I am not joking. I don't know why, but he wanted my piss. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, dumb tweet. Buy some lab equipment from one of thousands of lab equipment suppliers. Oh yeah, just buy some lab equipment. As we all know, the high-end lab supplies are very affordable and accessible, easy to use as well. Why, we all could have just gone down to our local Walmart and gotten everything we need for medicine production. How could we have been so stupid? And I find it funny, right? This is in response to someone asking how medicine would be produced without a supply lines. How would you get lab equipment without supply lines, genius? Learn chemistry or pick up a medicine book from a local library. Yeah, guys, just learn chemistry. You know, I bet my boots I've got a lot of people in the audience who've been in high school or are, you know, in it right now. You guys have probably taken chemistry, right? So you guys know you don't just learn chemistry. That stuff takes years to learn, understand, and master. Myself. I flunked chemistry so bad, they won't let me make math. Well, they won't let anyone make math, but me especially. I'd like to take a moment to address Mr. Joe Biden. Now, Mr. Biden, I know we don't always see eye to eye on most things. In fact, I don't even think you legitimately won the election, but let's just ignore that for now. I move to suggest that all these political streamers and the people who watch them, who go on about communism this and anarchism that, be given land from which they may build their societies. Everyone wins. 
ends, huh? I mean, the commies and anarchists can finally have their own communals, their ideal civilization, and we normal folk won't have to put up with them no more. But yeah, it's like I said, Twitter does not fail to entertain, and indeed, it's what gives us our main story. Well, at this point, I shouldn't say main story because I just spent half the video talking about some unhinged political thread for more watch time. Whatever, I found this comic, I believe it comes from the pencil sort, though it was re-uploaded to this account called The Left Can't Meme. It really is something, I'll read it out for you. People don't look at a ripped guy and think, Wow, this guy is so strong, he must be some kind of warrior chieftain. What a great guy. No, we think, oh, that guy spends a lot of time at the gym. I don't know, when I see a ripped guy, I don't think anything. He's just another guy in the crowd, same as me, trying to get by in life, same as me. And if we're being judgmental, oh, if we're being judgmental, yeah, as if this entire comic isn't judgmental anyways, we might think, Oh, that guy's life must be pretty damn boring if he can devote so much of it to lifting pieces of metal. Look, if you don't like people who stay fit and exercise, that's all well and good because most of them aren't doing it for you. Or, well, they shouldn't be. Working out is something you do for yourself to improve your own mind, body, and health. To adhere to your discipline and routine to see what said body is truly capable of. If you don't like it, fine. You don't have to because you're not the target audience. Guess what? I could go to the gym too. Okay, that just sounds like a whole bunch of cope. I just kind of hear, oh, I could go to the gym if I wanted to, uh, but, but I, I don't. And it's not because I'm lazy. Don't think it's because I'm lazy. Uh, sure, pal. Sure. But I'd rather read a book, draw a picture, play music, or talk with friends. Literally everything you just listed can also be done by gym goers. Like, if a gym goer wanted to read a book, he can. If he wants to become an artist, he can. If he wants to listen to music, well, most of them do it while working out anyways. If he wants to play an instrument, he can do that as well. And it's safe to assume most gym goers also have friends because going to a gym is a sociable experience. You're bound to meet people with similar interests and the like at a gym, you know? Does this guy think that anyone who has a little bit of muscle on them lives the lifestyle of a monk? They live a life of constant isolation and training? Like, people don't exercise 24-7. That's not how fitness works. I'd rather lead a curious life than a muscly one. Like, I really don't understand this guy's obsession with trying to put himself on a higher pedestal than someone just because they go to the gym. I think he's jealous, to be honest. In 50 years, we'll all be saggy, but he'll be saggy and boring. All I have to do to disprove that is Google long-term benefits of exercise. I think the scenario in which this comic plays out is pretty funny, too. The context of it is this guy's just minding his own business, and then you have some dame being all judgmental for no reason. Like what? You can't even make yourself look good in your own comic? But yeah, this comic just, it, it, it honestly baffles me. It's so needlessly confrontational. I mean, I think I'm right to assume that most people who work out and get muscular are generally normal people, right? Functioning, upstanding members of society like you and I. And this guy's mad at them for the crime of merely existing. How much you want to bet that the reason this comic was made was because the artist saw a bodybuilder committing the cardinal sin of sin simply breathing, and his inferiority complex led him to develop a hatred towards anyone with a shred of muscle on him. This whole comic feels like the artist is projecting onto me, like he doesn't like a group of people, and he wants everyone to feel the same way. And to add to that, it feels like the comic is the artist trying to convince himself of his lies, rather than the reader. Really is something to think about, huh? You know, I don't really need a gym membership myself. When you're in the line of work I'm in, you pretty much get paid to work out. Sometimes I lift boxes with my legs sometimes with my arms, other times I'll take the manual pallet jack instead of the electrical ones. Really gets my blood flowing. Oh, uh, you guys might laugh at me now, but just you wait. 20 years, I'll be a giant hunk of muscle. That's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, you guys do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.